special here, and we couldn't have done it without you. So first point of contact is to thank you for joining us. Can you give yourselves a round of applause? Thank you so much for joining us this evening. We have an amazing night lined up for you, um, but this is protocol. How, how, how many first-timers do we have? Very many. Yes, give me the lights there so I can see them. <laughs> Many first-timers, okay. Regulars, are we here? Okay, so regulars, do me a favor. Just shake a hand of a first-timers up again. Where are they? It's, it's church. Say you are welcome. You are welcome, my darling. You are welcome, my son. Ah, mighty God. First-timers, uh, come on with it. Regulars, I'm going to say I'm doing the job of a first-timers. How are you? First, I, this is the first time I see your face. First-timer, high-five, high-five. You, there's a lot of first-timers today. I'm going to space oak mover. Thank you so much. Bluetooth, Bluetooth to the rest. Bluetooth. You get the spirit right. Thank you so much. Um, she needs a first time. Oh, yeah, you, she's not even looking at me. High five. First time. I don't know if it's going to be the first or the last. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a gig. Uh, we're, not, we're not a Thursday night place to go hang. But we're here with a deliberate mandate, and the mandate is, firstly, to celebrate this great woman. Secondly, to tell the right narrative. Amen. And thirdly, to awaken in ourselves the reality that a lot of us have been sleeping, not only on her, but on ourselves. And we'll speak about it as it goes on, and you'll tell, and the regulars will tell you, we get an opportunity to talk a little bit and share. So we have a hashtag that's going on. It was hijacked during this week. Um, it's called hashtag I am Winnie Mandela. Have you guys seen it? How many of you guys have Instagram tweeted it? That's fantastic. If it means nothing to you, we ask you not to tweet it. If it's just about wearing black and wearing a duke, we ask you not to tweet it. On Sunday, I even took my wig off because what we want to bring across is that when all is said and done and she's laid to rest on Saturday, Everybody's lives will go back to normal. Hear, hear? And how we will all wait for this time next year for the documentary to play on our TVs. And yet again, we'll be reminded that we need to tweet and say something because we're South Africans. Well, we're going against the grain. We believe that she stood for something greater than you and I could ever even imagine. We believe that she laid down her life for something bigger than you and I can ever imagine. The question then becomes, what are we Back to the basics and not wanting titles and waiting for people to put us in certain positions before we feel that there's something we're doing for our countries. Can we not wait 
for campaigns and wait for initiatives because it's that time of the year where we think about these things. We talk about cancer only in October because that's the month for it. So during the rest of the... spend about three on yours, but anyway. It's a consciousness. We're asking you today to leave this place, having a fire in your heart to bring about a change in whatever community or sp- you walk away here and never see us again, may you find a place where you will be active and serve. May you find it. On Tuesday, I asked everybody the question that we should all answer when we leave here. When the day comes, and it will, that there in our careers, how many children we had. We wonder what's going to happen to his estate. What are they going to say about you? Did you come and live your life and had no impact on the human race? Or did you make a decision to catch a fire that one woman ran with for 81 years of her life, dedicated, fought, spoken about, defiled, made to be something that she wasn't? People came out to say, we were paid to lie about her. to try to stop you. My question then becomes, are people trying to stop you doing anything? Or there's nothing to discuss about you because you're not doing anything. But we'll speak about that and. Like we said, if it means nothing to you, what? Don't hashtag it. Don't tweet it. Leave it alone. We're not out here to trend at number one. We're here to change people's hearts from the inside. Are we ready for tonight? It's going to be awesome. Let me take you through a couple of house rules. Uh, Um, currently, so I don't know if you guys have noticed, we usually have our bathrooms to, uh, the regulars know, you know, we're offended, right? It's not, it's not here, it's apparently affecting around this area. So there are mobile bathrooms or toilets outside. When you come out, just walk down. You'll see them in the corner. We have chicken wings and really, really cool salads that I've never seen in my life, but they really rock. Generally, outside, there's burra force rolls. Mm. Burra force rolls. Outside. <laughs>
How many other people are rocking the t-shirts today? How many of us bought the t-shirts? Yes, the t-shirt. Same rules applies. If it means nothing to you, don't buy the t-shirt. Go to Mr. Price, do your thing. Leave us alone. <laughs> but we really are trying to move a uh, push a movement here. If you are tweeting and it means something to you, please go ahead and tweet. The t-shirts are available at the back. It's 150, um, a t-shirt. And then, how many of us are sitting on blankets? Yeah, that's cool. Quite a few of us. We're collecting blankets, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow um, uh, is going to be the final day for us to collect the blankets. We're going to give away a few blankets. Um, uh, just take a walk down Joburg Street. Uh, but we're ultimately trying to build up to the 27th of May, where we will go out and do a proper uh, blanket drive. But all the blankets that you're sitting on and the ones that you brought that you're going to donate, hallelujah, um, <laughs> uh, are the ones that we're going to be handing out. So if you are coming tomorrow, please uh, get a blanket. They vary in prices. Whatever God lays on your heart, let's make it bigger. Are we ready for tonight? Jesse, I've been talking for a while. But somebody who we know to make people do this, Shoo, I felt that one. Is here tonight with a different tone. Um, I'm going to call on Abusiswa and her team to come and join us tonight. Clap for them. Yes, don't be shy. They're going to be opening up for us. We have an amazing lineup. Uh, we've had an amazing lineup throughout the week, but I think it just keeps getting better. And tomorrow, some of the people who were here during the week are going to be back. But I'm going to tell you all that and more. Can we welcome her again? Ladies and gentlemen, she's a new mom, and she's out here with us today. Can we give her a round of applause? Yeah. All the baby moms in the house say, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> um, it's good to throw that in there because um, the pieces I'm going to do today are dedicated to women of, uh, of all forms in all their glory. And... Um, my tribute to Uma Mawini Matizela Mandela um, is going to be in the form of spoken word and music. And um, I just want to say, Sunshine when she's gone. It's so cold when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. She's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. Sleeping in slums, seeping in harms of crying infants. 
So used to the sounds that at certain instants, it's all silence. The science of dreams is the secret to smiles in their sleep. Smiles hidden deep in their subconscious. So no one can see that they someday dream of leaving the misery. Living a mystery. Submitting to 21st century slavery is but their daily bread. So they thank their Lord. Count their blessings and protect them at whatever cost. Their dignity lost. Submitting to the most preposterous plots. Those fear factor antics at the Free State's University. Our Free State's adversity. Our history of horrors that has become a lesson universally. And at the core of that lesson, there is me, a woman. No sunshine when she's gone. It's so cold when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. belongs to my family, which tells me where to go and when. My body belongs to my husband, who leads me to truth and sin. My body belongs to the God I serve. I want to go to heaven. Someone told me Jesus died and for my sins was given. A wise man said to read my Bible now, take advice from your Savior Christ. He was sacrificed to save your lives. But all I really want to do is live my let it mystify before I die. Not spend my years asking why, but just to go out there and try. But because I belong to friends and relations who even determine my determinations, who try to dictate my realizations just to create their idealizations, I cannot live for myself. I cannot grow like a free stem because I am not me, you see. My body belongs to them. I want to make an impact. When I walk into a room, but I cannot do that if I get deprived of my right to freedom. I cannot rise to every challenging occasion. I cannot help to develop this nation. But what I can do is impart my strength to those whom I care to, those whom I gave myself to, those whom I gave birth to, those whom I gave my body to for better or for worse. My sisters of better times, even if they now curse this woman behind her back, saying she deserves to down in the troubles. I understand the troubles, but I cannot stand under them. They cannot break the spirit of this rock. In fact, I don't know who started calling us rocks because Honey, I am a rock and beyond. I'll tell you why. Rocks get sanded by waters in a moving pond. But I face my troubles waters and respond with unmovable firmness. Rocks tend to tumble downhill. Yet I climb up the steepest emotional mountains and overcome them. Rocks fall to pieces when the climate is hot. In the harshest of times, I become the strength of those around me. And lastly, rocks can never endure the pain of childbirth. Honey, I am more than a rock. I'm a woman. Hey, fall to this side where she's gone.
woman. I'm a W.O. man. I'm a well-organized man. <laughs> I'm a woe man. Because wow. I'm a diva. I'm a queen. I'm a bad bitch. I'm pristine. I am ugly. I am divine. I am crazy. I am fine. I'm a woman. And Winnie Mandela lives within me. Oh, I'm a diva, I'm a queen. I am proof that Winnie Mandela's life was a win because I am Winnie Mandela within. I said, I am proof that Winnie's life was a win because I'm Winnie Mandela within. You're welcome to have a good time. I believe that we are celebrating. And although some of us, like me, I will admit, realize so late the extent to which she fought for us. I think we all knew. But I think a lot of us are realizing the extent to which she sacrificed for all of us. And the pen is dropping finally. But you know what? It's dropped. There's no stopping us now. We can only go higher from here. This next piece, it's called, it's a, it's a poetry piece called um, Beautiful Black Girl. Like I said, my contribution to the memory of Umama is in poetry and song about women in all their forms because Lord knows she Beautiful black girl, the streets resound the sound of your wailing. The pavement awaits your pain and your ailing. The same pavement you sleep on, same pavement you eat from, same pavement could speak of your joy and your anger, your pain and your hunger. Your homely cardboard manger, your relationship with a stranger who now stands before you, getting ready to floor you, to tear your clothes and tear you with his skin on your skin. He stones you with his rock erection. He takes your smile and your hope. He hangs your dignity with a thick rope, all for the sake of power in the street scope. Kanjani. Umsegangaga. <laughs> Beautiful black girl, I want to take you away and wash your sticky thighs. That sickly semen on your skirt, it soaks you in a sea of broken dreams. Beautiful, beautiful black girl, I want to take you away, show you my paradise. I know what it looks like right now, but I promise you, life can be pretty nice. 
I know what it looks like right now, but I promise you, life can be pretty nice. Take us to, take us to paradise, Belen. Hey. create this paradise. Was, was, was. Let's create this paradise. Indeed, Bongani, it is quite a chilly on the verge of winter evening here at Constitution Hill. And I've done a bit of a walk around to see what this place really represents. And part of what I've seen are uh, excerpts of what Mama Wini herself had to say about coming here. She says that she came here and there's an inscription on a glass wall um, as you walk around this place. She says she came here first in 1958 when she was expecting her first baby. And that very baby came to visit her here in 1976 when she was incarcerated for the second time. Now there's a place here that's called the Winnie Mandela, part of the women's jail, and there's another one um, that's called the uh, other, uh, other women um, that were here who have also inscribed their names um, to show that they were here. But um, I can tell you that this evening here tonight will entail people on the stage, including Zahara, Lira. Now we have on stage Busiswa, who's known for her more modern pop music. But tonight she says she's taking to word and music to honor Mama Wini. But among people who are here are young ones who have, uh, throughout the time that we've been talking about Mama Wini, been telling us what they understand. And one of them is Zintle. Zintle, what do you know about Mama Wini? That she fought for our right for freedom. Yes. And why are you here tonight? To honor her life. 
So there you have it, Bongani. This is Zintle. She's nine years old and she says she had to come here to show that she too understands the legacy that Mama Winnie represents. This evening is about a movement that's called the I Am Winnie Mandela campaign. It was started in January, way before she passed on. But the campaigners of the I Am Winnie Mandela say that people have brought their blankets, they're sitting on them now, but they're going to leave them here and tomorrow they will go around Johannesburg. This is an event that they had hoped Mama Winnie would be part of, but now she has left, but they will give away those blankets. But also they will continue with this campaign because they say that it began when her granddaughter went to receive on her behalf that honor that was given by the Uganda Makerere University. Um, on her behalf, she went to receive the award and therefore she then continues this movement with the people who have now joined it. Bongani. Well, Bongani, I think uh, you know more than anybody else. Um, the revelations that have come out in the last few days, that documentary that reveals what many South Africans didn't know, and many South Africans waking up this morning to say that they wish they had said thank you to her enough. And many of the people that are here today saying exactly the same thing, that they wish they had known what they now know about what, what Mama Winnie represented. But this particular jail, when we were here on Monday, one of the women, and that is Cecile Palmer, she was in jail at the same time as Mama Winnie. And she says at one point there was a woman here who was uh, kept naked for almost 10 days and then assassinated. And these are the sort of things that women went through. Many of them had to go through the walls of this particular place, which was known as number four, as well as the women's jail or the fortress that eventually became Constitution Hill. But of course, it represents a completely different set of rules today. It protects the Constitution and the rights of South Africans. Bongani. One, two. Oh, there you go. Another round of applause, right? Jeez, man, what an awesome way for us to open up the show. Um, uh, a big shout out goes out to all the broadcasters that are here today, uh, sharing what we are experiencing with everybody else. Are we still having a good time? It's a nice start, right? All right, we're going to keep it going. We know her mostly uh, with the soil. She is the rose. She is the rose amongst the thorns. Uh, her name is Bootle. And I have got so many questions for her. I had the privilege of interviewing her last week, Saturday. Um, and she got so emotional in the interview, uh, speaking about Umama. And I saw on her Instagram, it's just like we've been running around, didn't get time to speak to her, that she just got a brand new tattoo piece. And probably one of the best pieces I've seen in a while. And it's the face of Umama. And hopefully she'll get to share why, you know. Tattoos are quite a big deal. When you decide to take someone else's face and implant it on your own, it's a big deal. So um, uh, hopefully she shares that story with us today. But more than anything, how many of you guys are starting to feel that it's a different vibe? Right? 
It's not your normal setup. It's a, it's a place of expression, and it's a place for us to heal. The one thing that we've been expressing throughout the week is this is not anything new that we're doing. You know, everybody, I did an interview earlier today, and people were like, yeah, you, you guys are doing something different. I'm like, this is like, guys, it's okay, again, swag. What's Mletelo Castro, guys? Vigil. There you go. I told everybody that after eight, my English goes out, so forgive me. It clocks out when I clock in. You know what I mean? So it's a visual in English. So uh, as African people, this is what we do. In the week of the funeral, we come together, we sing, we pray, we share stories, um, and we just see each other throughout the week. And I'd like to thank you for choosing us this evening. This is our own muletelo with a bit of swag. I think we need to call it something else. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Are we ready for Butle? Are you sure? I have not seen Butle by herself, ever. This is actually quite interesting, right? So it's going to be interesting to see what she has in store for us. Ladies and gentlemen, without any waste of time, let's welcome her on stage. Butle! Gail, they told me you have a powerful voice. I was like, don't give her a mic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bushe. I prefer Bushe Vendalo. Next time, Bushe Vendalo. Tekoma Kushaguni Nonke Botunani. Kama kushema ngosimini. Kama kushema mpingeni. Te kama kusha konda no mjuduma. Te kama kusha kodlo motitiba. Te kama kusho msutu. Te kama kusha koso picho ngolo msira. Tekama kusha kuzi nyanya zimfundi si idlozi. Omzilangata. Omalandela. Malandeli langa loshon. Omlojwa. Tekama kusha kuzi nyanya si chao no mzamo. Sinyanya sase mambondo mseni. Tekama kusha uni no Jakamakusha bantu besifazane. Jakamakusha bazala bantu. Ikamalam kukusha bendalo. Intombi ya semlanje. Ikamalam lokula ulipu mili kamakwe. I'm so honored to perform for the first time by myself. Under the celebration of this giant tree behind us. Because I'm closer to Kuban. Yes. Sonyuka <laughs> 
Otele passed out his burden. It's my mom. Otele passed out his burden. She's even late. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Yatama gusha kumkani wam tuoshe. Yatama gusha mosini. Uta donzala yon yatama gusha titiba. Yatama gusha slosom lambo. I'm happy to be raised by a man who's not trash. But I always tell him, good vele ni trash that ni trash it. We are till it again, Adam. Adam, you trash it. I think what makes me more nervous is that, but hey, you broadcast all the way. Ben Gwana, this first song, man, you need a broadcast, man. It's fully cool the way. I was talking to the sound guy earlier. Um, Uti, who's a melody sensor, I'm going to go again. Because, you know, I'm going to go famous. I'm going to go famous, I'm going to go right. Is that bad? Oh, no, I'm going to go. Nomzamo and my parents are here. Oh, Yakama Kusha Nabutokta Esta Matangu. That is why I'm wearing this blanket. Yakama Kusha Dokta Esta Matangu. Tinaba 
Thank you so much. You guys make me so nervous. I came up with that song not so long ago. I was like, I may shy at it. Um, and do me have a put it. But Nomzam was fearless, though. I feel like Nomzam was regal and she was fearless and she was just vundurizing everything. I feel like I feel like I I am Nomzam also, and I feel like saying it out loud. I feel like Nomzam wasn't scared. Guti, there were cameras around or whoever was watching. Nomzam was just like. Listen, we are going to get this freedom. Come hell or high waters, baby girl. We are going to get this freedom. right now. But Zikoni traces is And I'm so happy that I'm here today celebrating this giant. I feel like my diva wouldn't have made it without Unomzamo. I feel like the chance in this room wouldn't have made it in life and life in. I feel like even Casper wouldn't say, Mama, I made it in a mistake. So we are sing about Zalaban to guys. You must recognize I just rhymed. I'm gonna sing a next song. I talk I talk a lot when I'm nervous, so I'm just gonna go straight into the next song, yeah, bon? This next song is called Salute. I wrote it when I was still working at a call center down the road. And I felt like these men don't respect me. Yes. Oh, 
Rosimela. Why ain't you a quasu gustetella? Hey, dear quasu guzilella. Why ain't you a quasu gustetella? Guys, please forgive me. I'm very sensitive about this thing because I think a cappella uh, spoiled me, man, you know? And now I'm, I'm performing with the band for the first time and Dia, Dia and Mademoiselle, you know? And I wanna, I wanna do this thing. Okay, good time apologize. Dia Guasu Guzimela. Hey, Dia Guasu Guzetela. I'm a true banemalim, not Dia Guasu's for Manela. Dia Guasu Guzetela. Go banding Guz Pogazi. Umanda Gazi. Dingo Kawe Gazi. Dingo Temba Gazi. Dingo Homba Gazi. Dingo no lazi, dingo spokazi, dingo mandagazi. I salute you, Fazi. I salute you, Fazi. Mama, um, I salute you, Fazi. Mnandi limbe lucas yom kuba. Mamela brothers, soon the fundus and the Buddha. Mnandi limbe lucas yom kuba. Why? Dingus pokazi. Dingo mantha kazi. Mna dingo no lazi. Mna dingo bata kazi. Mna I salute you fazi. Mna I salute you fazi. Mama wam. I salute you, Fazi. Sister Wam, I salute you, Fazi. Cherry Am, I salute you, Fazi. Sandra Sam, I salute you, Fazi. <laughs> Give it up for Lerato, Chave. This is Free Soul Percussion. And the sister from another mother, O Stebza. I wrote this song while I was in initiation. They 
love Sister Vza. I love her too. That's why she's in my bang bang. My bang bang. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I wrote this song while I was in initiation, um, 2016. It was pouring outside and I felt like I'm a temba, I'm a pela, you know? Because it's never easy to be with yourself. And it's never easy to approach your demons head on. And um, I was there and at least I had my phone. Yes, I use my phone. At least I had my phone. And and I recorded it. And I was like, I wanna mang kumala. The song is called Netisa. It's my last song, by the way. Do you want to friendly pie? You two or three songs, so I'm gonna stick to that. Babu figo bum yama, you salela ma tema. Babu figo bum yama, you salela ma tema. Babu figo bum yama, you salela ma tema. Babu figo bum yama, you salela ma tema me. Kapa kapa kapa, ya ni mula kapa, ya. Thank you so much for the opportunity. 
I thank Matigizela for giving birth to Butle Bendalo. I was afraid and um, I didn't trust myself enough that I would just stand here without my crutches. <laughs> but I did it today. Thank you so much for receiving me the way you did. Your energy is overwhelming. Jabule um, Lagakulu. I don't know if I still have time to explain why I have this in my skin. <laughs> Um, so I, I, I think I wrote on my Instagram as well. Um, Uba, we deal with pain in different ways, right? And um, now when I'm in serious pain, but I remember about but it's fine. Um, when I saw the you, Mama my bed. <laughs> okay, so um, I deal with pain by inflicting pain. You want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be quick. Okay, sharp. Yeah, um, I deal with pain by inflicting pain on myself, and um, I feel a good team. I wanted something so close to what my Digizela endured, but still, this tattoo doesn't even come close to that, you know? And I wanted, you know, because I feel like. Um, I get kuma ma ofunu she abandona ba ke behind girl children behind and doesn't even know ba uya buye kaya or what you know so this was just to say um I can do it a hundred times again for you I would do it for my digizela tenfold like I I yeah so I and I had I had to remind myself by putting her here. Banding am libali, you know, and ding as libali nam, and I think today, this day, is a start. Ba andi zuz libala, and andi zum libala na ye. And whenever I I I lift my hand up into the sky, through all my struggles, I will remember that she endured more than what I'm trying to endure now. Do you get what I mean? So thank you so much. Yabule la gakulu. Tamakwini, thank you so much. Give it up for my band. <laughs> Thank you so much. Amanda! Amanda! Maibuye! Africa! In Africa! Maibuye! Thank you so much. Thank you to the team. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. I'm blessed to perform with Mrs. Brenda on the same stage. I love her so much. Uzahara, my girl. When we're together, guys, we're very crazy with Zahara. Zahara, I love you. I don't know if you're still here. I love you. I love you, honey. Yes. Um, Oslira, thank you so much. I'm blessed. Pussy, so I, I was hoping to do the Vosho, but I understand, but I, I, I call. I, I was hoping to do that Vosho with you, girl, you know. Um, you yummy mommy. So thank you so much, and um, enjoy your night. Be safe. Condomize. Call an Uber if you're tipsy, but it's not them. Okay, shut Thank you. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We can do better than that, right? How beautiful was that? Are we ready for more? Are we sure? No, that's great. Let's actually check the, the screaming radar. Let's try to get hit 100. Can we try it? All right, give it up for Bushle. It matter about seventy-five. It matter like you get ready to hang your <laughs> the screen, every artist who's getting on stage are people we literally just called up and said, 
we have a vision, we want to do this, and can you please support us? Can we give every single person who's taken on the stage a round of applause? I mean, we've had, from your bigger artists to your smaller artists, anybody who takes time out from their schedule to join something bigger, we really, like I said, that's how we say, Right? We really, we really are it's something else. I'm promising not to cry today. Sunday was hectic, but we're going to keep it going. Um, the next lady, I remember doing an interview with her. It was a couple of years ago. I worked for a channel, it was after my Yo! TV days, I worked for a channel called Good Morning Africa, and I got to travel the world and got to see really amazing people, but the one time I did an interview with her, and she was gonna perform at one of the inauguration parties for President Obama there. And I sat with her and I was just like, okay, cool, you know, I gotta get it together. Um, I think she studied in VUT, and I'm from the Val, so that was like my entry point to sound cool. To be like, where you studying is where I'm from. <laughs> um, and I asked her a simple question. I was like, what did it feel like when you got that email and you opened it and they were inviting you to come to one of these inaugural uh, parties? And her response blew my mind. She said, I was not shocked. I was prepared for it. She said, that's exactly what I've been working towards, to be in those kind of spaces. And it really shifted my mind as a professional, as somebody who's in the entertainment industry, that um, we don't wait for things to happen. We prepare for things to happen. We align ourselves, we work hard, and when they happen, we take the moment for what it is. And uh, to give her a call and say, Ostra, this is what we're doing. Can you come through? Um, I'll promise the team not to mention this. When we saw her come through for Soundcheck, we were like, yes! <laughs> And she's joining us tonight to share her voice with us. Can we give her a warm round of applause? Lira, ladies and gentlemen. Are we ready for Lira?
Salut. Good evening, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I really needed to salute because I think of Mawini and I think of how we almost didn't give her the credit that she needed. I feel like we're only celebrating her now properly now that she's gone. Only now are we recognizing her. <laughs> no, as a generation, why to speak for yourself? I'm talking about a generation. You always have somebody that's just going to do that. Just chill with that vibe. You can pick it up later. It's no, it's, it's no secret that her name was dragged through the mud. Because, of course, back then, we wouldn't accept a female hero. We couldn't accept that a female had to occupy a position of such power. We know that her husband was in jail when she was going through things on a daily basis. And we forget these things. And so when I watched a video of hers just shortly after she, I learned of her passing, I was so numb when I realized that she was gone. And I was watching videos of her, and she was talking about when she was, in, she was exiled and she was isolated from friends, loved ones, her children, and just all the things that she had to endure. The freedom to be a parent was removed from her. The freedom to, be, to have intellectual stimulation amongst her peers, because she was a thinker. She was a freedom fighter. She was a thinker. She was isolated in terms of those things. And just the sadness that she endured for all that time, all on her own. And that she was a prisoner who had to take care of her own expenses. Then the interviewer asks her, well, what about the future? What do you see in the future? Um, do you think you will see a liberated South Africa in your lifetime? And she said, oh, yes. There is no doubt in my mind. I'm absolutely convinced of it. She lit up when she spoke about this. So everything she spoke about weighed heavy on her, but not the promise of the future that she held in her mind. The future that you and I are enjoying today. Then it <laughs> dawned on me that indeed freedom is not free. Freedom is not free. We can go about our lives right now enjoying, but really a lot of blood was shed so that you and I could enjoy the liberties and the opportunities that we very much take for granted. So what does it really mean to be free? I think anyone that lost their lives for us to be free wants to know that you and I do not make any excuses. Just because you are free doesn't mean things are for free. It means you have the ability, the choice to work towards your dreams, to forget the excuses of yesteryear, the challenges that you and I face are not in any way the same as our forefathers and foremothers. They're not even the same. So a lot of the times we make excuses based on the past where we have such a rich future that we can literally write ourselves. So I'm saying, why not rewrite history and write her story? Let us tell the world who we are as in Bogota. This is a, an, an, an era that we live in now and so as I sing this next song, it really was a, a tribute I wanted to pay to Mama Winnie Mandela to say, I see it. I see what you had to go through. And you had a vision and you lived through that vision. And the liberties I enjoy today is because of your struggles. So I stand here with such humility and gratitude because I have so much opportunity. And that goes for you and I. We have so much we can live for. We are free to literally write our own story. So enjoy this song. It's called Born Free from my Born Free album. Thank you. Strong and bold I am meant to be. Powerful I was meant to be. Powerful is what lies within. Yeah. But the world will try to deceive me. Everything I could ever need. 
was already playing them freely. Blinded by all the lies I hear, yeah. My heart wants to be set free. And what it means to be born free is to be free to be me. And what it means to be born free is to live and be happy. Oh, 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 Verse may be abundancy. Sun that shines down ceaselessly. Everything we could ever need, yeah, was always given freely. And those who seek to control all of these, yeah, would take away our to live displace the people and deprive their needs yeah but all of us have the right to live and what it means to be born free yeah, yeah is to be free to be me and what it to be born free is to live and be happy. Oh, 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 to be free to be me and what it means to be born free is to live and be so very much. Thank you. If you could do me a favor, I think really the time now is a <laughs> good thing. I'm I love that. So now, I think the biggest call is for us women not to conform anymore to the rules of old. Sing ababo mama njei that does hotella even things that are unhotellable. But for what? For who? For who? For what? No, but let's be honest. In other words, it means that we've decided that the other sex is above us. There, there, there is a shift. It, it is no longer a valid point. It's really no longer valid. So the truth is we need to stand in the fullness of our power as women. We need to express ourselves. We need to honor ourselves. We need to bless ourselves accept ourselves, love ourselves, express ourselves, uh, um, honor ourselves. But like, it's, it's a pro be yourself. But don't forget to bless yourself. That one, I, I, it's. In other words, the same things that you would give out to others in honor, you must throw up aside. You must honor and bless yourself. So I know it's a process because we're almost dealing with a, um, 
teachings of old. Umama Winnie Mandela said she resented the fact that people did not recognize her as an entity, Apelele herself. She was always Mandela's wife. She was a partner to him, but she was an entity at Pelela by herself. She had her own mind. She had her own opinion. She had her own journey. She had her own struggles. She had her own fight. And she stood in her own spotlight, that's a wrap. And that, she had her own calling. She really had her own purpose. And if there's anything we can learn is that we do not need to stand in the sidelines anymore. There is a place in the space that only we can fill as women. Things that are supposed to be done that only we can do. We don't know if Mandela could have survived outside as she did. We will never understand that. All we know is that she did. And not only for herself, but for you and me and her children and the whole of South Africa. So now indeed she did not die. She has multiplied. Because we are going to stand up and take this fight. And all we need to do is be ourselves. Our beautiful, powerful selves. So if you are ready to make this move, I invite you just to please shine any light you have as a symbol of you allowing your light to shine. Let's do it. Let there be light. I'm talking about all the women and all the men who have more femininity in their bodies. Also those guys. We are together, lovers. Oh, let there be light. Because our struggle is the same. Do you realize nothing can ever be right until we choose to be?
my gift. You can be, you can be the one, you can be, oh, you can be the one. You can't deny me. You can't. 
thrown to persecute the people who are trying to fight for that liberation. And among them, Mama Winimba Dikizala Madela, who was jailed here twice in her life in 1958 and in 1976. Bongani. They have come out in their numbers, and remember that they have also uh, been uh, asked to bring blankets because this movement that's holding this event here is called hashtag I am Winnie Mandela. One of the things that they want to do is to take those blankets that the people have brought and go and distribute them to the community. This is just the beginning of what they want to do, and part of what they say they represent is the question that Mama asked them, which is are you activists? And they say they are, and this is the message that they want to spread going forward. But they've come out in their throngs, they sat down, but now, um, as you can see behind me, they've decided to stand up because I suppose the temperature is rising minute by minute, Bongani.
everybody, come on, say, say, oh, 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 I cannot hear you. Come on, say it louder. song I feel certain fire because when they say she multiply they mean we have a spirit within us I'm a very shy girl but we need to be we need to open our mouth and represent something that matters to us I feel like this matters it affects all of us eh it affects all of us. It's something that when you say we have freedom, what kind of freedom? Salem Ku Queen. Sunasnanet. What kind of freedom? So I feel like maybe Ukulungulo works in, in mysterious ways, right? Maybe Umama had to give out her life. But she also did that when she was still alive. Do you get what I'm saying? Like she fought. And I feel even though she's not with us, but she's with us. We'll continue to fight for the first time in my life. For the first time in my life. I'm going to open my mouth. I am going to talk. For the first time in my life. Yay. Let me, let, let me tell you something. I saw something. I was, I've been listening and watching her documentaries, everything. And I'm like, okay, you can be beautiful, hey? And have grace. And have power also. The power is not associated with being unloving. Oh, mama had that voice. That voice. Content one. But also what she was saying, hey? Was strong. So today I celebrate her. I want us to have that fire within us. Not, not only women, we need men. We need men and Mbela, not the trashy ones. Okay? All trashy. We need the real men who are going to stand for the truth. Okay, let me continue singing before I lose my voice. I've been so sick. 
but it's okay. It's all right. The next song that I want to sing is uh, Standing in the Rainstorm, I Believe. This song, I love it so much because I feel it represents the strength of a woman. You know, we are able, I'm able to stand here in front of you and sing with a lot of problems. You never tell. I'm able to wake up in the morning, take my kid to school, and do everything that I have to do. Work, you know, home, everything. We have that strength within us. So this song is called I Remember, I Believe.
standing in the rain storm, standing in the rain storm. She
applause. Jeez. Can this night get any better? All right, we're about to take in one notch. Brenda Dumbo and her team, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we did this on Sunday, and it's important to us for us. One, two. My mic keeps dying. Can we just check what's happening there? We're good. Am I good? Awesome. Thanks, Martin. And it's a special moment because there's a lot of conversations taking place and a lot of people saying a lot of things, not only just about umama, but black people as a whole, about women as a whole. And I asked the question when we started earlier that what responsibility are we going to have in the future? What role are we going to play in the future? We sang Bring Back Our Land. Do you guys remember that? Brenda did that so beautifully. I want to bring another thought while they set up. Sometimes when we speak about the land, we think, think about, about the land in the sense of the physical yeah. land that yeah. we have, correct? Yes. Yeah. But I bring it to you that it's a lot deeper than what we think it is. Yeah. Those who are attacking our land are sometimes us and ourselves. When our brothers and our dads and our older siblings are raping the younger ones. That's bringing back the land because that's not who we are as a people. Right? Can we have real talk tonight? That sometimes we feel comfortable having the conversation of land and moving away responsibility from us to somebody else and pointing where the error is. And there is an error. I'm not disputing that. And the land must be brought back. I'm not disputing that. But who are we celebrating land for or giving it to when customary laws are still holding women in rural areas? Who are we chanting bring back the land to when a girl can't have a sanitary pad and has to skip school for a week? What land are you talking about? Who are we crying for the land for when you and I, as, f as females, don't earn the same as most gentlemen who are present here today? Yet I do more than what he does. Who are we fighting for the land to belong to when we ourselves hold each other back? When we ourselves call each other out and cancel our brothers and sisters because they don't quite sound like us? We make mockeries of them every Sunday as they celebrate their weddings because their English is not quite correct and therefore gives us conversations in our WhatsApp group. Which land are we fighting for? The land that has allowed systems in place to mock one another. We fight when they call us monkeys, but we do that to ourselves. Which land are we crying for? So tonight I'm going to ask each and every person to realize that when we say the land, we mean the land and all its riches. We mean the land and all its value. And you and I are its value. And if one of us is being demoted or speak badly about or put in a position where they can't fight for themselves, then this land means nothing. It means we have a piece of land and homes and whatever we think is materialistic, but as a people, we were long dead. So what Mama fought for was more than just land. She fought for a people. Yesterday, I think it was it yesterday or Tuesday, I asked a question. Some of us are so quick to speak and say things on Facebook because it gives us a lot of captions to speak. And some of us are witty enough to put words together on Twitter and make it sound amazing. But what have you done? When was the last time you took money out of your pocket to support somebody else? I made an example to say most location schools, a year school fees is 200 rand. It's not your data. Not even your data. But you can stand with a dog on an Instagram post and we must believe you. We are not a hashtag. We are a movement of people. We're serious about that which we stand for. So we're going to take all these little glitz and glams away and tell the truth tonight. What have you and I done? Today I think we're sitting on day 105, correct me those who do the math. In this year alone, you and I, what have we done? Have we spent time teaching a kid how to read? That's great if you have, but look at the person next to you and ask them, what have you done lately? 
What time have you given lately? And it's important for us to ask ourselves that. On Tuesday, I was quite graphic, and I'll say it again today. I was quite graphic, and I'll say it again today. There's a kid who does not go to school because she's on her periods. Yet we wear dukes. There are women whose land that we fight for has been taken from them because they are women. Yet we wear dukes. So I'm asking that as beautiful as our turbans are, may they represent far more than what this week is. May they live longer than this week. May they represent a fire within us that cannot be tarnished. May they represent a consciousness to do better. Are my gentlemen here tonight? How are you guys doing? We can say until we blew in the face that we're strong. And we are, don't get it twisted. But you have a responsibility to stand next to us. Just as we have a responsibility to stand next to you. So when you watch us in the morning, tie that duck. May it be a reminder to you that you too have a role to play. Don't sell us out. Men, don't sell us out. Fight for us. Just as we fight for you. Are we ready for Zahara tonight? She's going to be shutting it down for us in a beautiful way. I saw her perform about a week ago. About a week ago. And it was beautiful. I think we have something special tonight, don't we? Are we going to close it off with a bang? Are we ready to close it off with a bang? Remember, don't hashtag it if what? If it doesn't mean anything to you, don't hashtag it. We love you. Thank you so much for coming. Zahara! Ladies and gentlemen.
Kosagas, the Gipnag. If there was someone must have, O Mande, O Kinsa, no copo, in common bones, as a Yamazi Slahi, Ulaushe, Umashia Mark, the Funsong Mamui, the Galon, do stand. Galente Louis, I would need to cheat drunk, Umamu in Zaga Chitoku, the Lento Gasila Panam Shan, and my cousin again for my pain.
Oh yeah, I feel like I lost two parents. Tata Mandela and Mama Win. God again, I have in the band in the yona. So then, but this. No babu at one in a buba number two. Which one of you?
I put a, she said, you know, you didn't take the spirit of the people up. Um, but also, I think I'm going to put time, eh? Wow. And uh, I've had a couple of people that came up to me and said, oh, what a beautiful space you've created. What a beautiful space you've created. And I felt like I was compelled to come up here and say, I did not create this space. It was the spirit that created this space. It was the spirit of young girl called Rory Sam Sunday Disco. It was the spirit of a young girl called Zanzibar. It was, yes, a woman. I think, okay, woman. That's Nini Heath, by the way. Uh, Zanzibar. 
the spirit of Rose Mulay say, and the people in the office, Clay, Namjabo, Dobi, the people who came up here and accepted um, and volunteered to give us a space, um, Solid Rock, you know, the artists that came up here every night, and Oh, absolutely, Wangan. We have come uh, to the end now of the performances. Zahara now taking the stage. But three things coming out, really, from all the women who have taken the stage tonight and those who are wearing dukes and responding to that call to honor Mama Nomzamo Wini Madikizela Mandela. Those three things are that one, that she was not just Nelson Mandela's wife, that in fact she made Nelson Mandela. Secondly, that uh, Mama Wini should have been thanked more um, by people than what is happening now, that we shouldn't have waited for her to go to be paying tributes like this one that's happening here tonight. But the third one, Bongani, is that it is time now for women to emulate her, that in fact the time is now to go on and live the way that she did. And as you said earlier, Many women in South Africa are now saying that she has not gone, but she has multiplied. Bangani. I remember saying to somebody that in 491 days, somebody was in a cell that was, it was cold. Cold in the heart. And there's no worse cold that exists than the one that's in the heart. So I want to thank each and every one of you and everybody who jumped on. Nicholas who said, oh, don't phone this, you've moved so, and everybody else that came through. I want to thank everyone. Let me quote what Lira said when she was on the stage, Bongani. She said, the time is over for women to be bowing to men, but also that the time is over for women to be apologizing for what they ought to be, which is the strength that Mama Wini Madikizela was and the strength that, that she represented in South Africa. So these are the messages that are coming through here, but no other place represents those messages than this place that we at Constitution Hill that really tried to break her spirit as her daughter Zinzi said over and over again that in fact places like this represent the fact that she was not broken as apartheid forces would have wanted. Bongani.